Greetings everyone, and Grade here for another Dawn of War 2 replay. So on the south side, as the Chaos Lord, we have Initial Mink 7771. So on the north side, as the Lord Inquisitor, we have Rambo. We've got the Sentinel coming on out, as well as the Chaos Marines. And we also hear the Imperial Guard music. I love the Imperial Guard music. PowerPoint being captured up the right side, PowerPoint being captured to the left side, or also right side, the other left side. And it looks like the Chaos Lord's eyeing for some early power, and the Sentinel's trying to deny that early power. The Sentinel can charge forward to capture the point, seeing the Chaos Lord, oh, nope, the point's being, act or being activated. I was going to say, the, the Sentinel could be aggressive, he sees a punch rushing power, so he must have an idea that his opponent is eyeing that power to be spent very, very soon. So denying that early power is relatively a uh, good idea. Your Guardsman duo get inside that structure there. It does avoid that special attack. Over here, Lord and Quest has kept at the power point. Imperial Guard gains good damage there onto the Chaos Lord, forcing him back. Rear Guardsman now capture the right side. Sentinel could try and get some damage on this activated point, but going forward and hitting those heretics actually would be good idea. Imperial Guardsmen have not been upgraded for the start, and actually, there's only one Imperial Guardsman. Most people go for two Imperial Guardsmen. This is a little bit unusual. He's doing a good job getting these garrisons as well. He's playing his, these, um, these uh, skirmishes to his advantage. It says he's this one trying to type up melee. The knight the melee and they will be sitting ducks. Chaos Marines capture up the uh, requisition point and now the Lord Inquisitor is going to engage. We do got the casual devils on the build queue as well as a raptor squad. Raptors are a little bit I'm not a big fan of raptors. Based on all the replays I'm seeing, I've seen they don't scale all too well. Additionally, Spawn's not going for a heavy weapons team. Most time, it feels like most time Imperial Guardsmen do not go for heavy weapons teams. They usually go for their Cajun Devils first. Imperial Guardsmen still has not been upgraded as Sergeant, so they won't gain additional... They will pay a full reinforcement cost, not any their cost reductions. Cajun Devils advance forward. We may see a grenade launcher barrage as he gets to start standing still. The shot of the grenade launcher squad is not firing just yet. It's got the Spire and Chief upgrade coming on out for the Heretic squad. And also the Raptor squad does force back the Imperial Guard. They do drop a model there. And second Cajun Devil squad being deployed out. Sentinel's all advanced forward, being upgraded the stomp now. He, that's why. Nope. This, well, he must be have a very, very specific build order. Imperial Guard, the uh, sergeant upgrade for the Imperial Guard only costs one position, but he didn't really have reckless to spare. But you also got three power generators up here as well. And we may see the stomp. Chaos Lord being upgraded the Combine Flamer now. And now do have the Raptors jump on top of the Imperial Guards now. Cash Devils have to point out a demolition charge right there. Cash and Devils do fire a grenade launcher barrage there. And does get a nice detonation there. He may want to fully treat that squad. In tight of a melee. And kaboom. He does lure him to that uh, IED. Shotgun blast there onto the uh, Raptor squad as well. Does go ahead and get a staggered drop there, which does potentially save the Cash Devil. It was pretty close to going down. I can't save that would save. I did not save it, but either way, it was a very good maneuver. And now the Raptor squad's falling back. Does receive some damage there, as well as a cast from the Lord Inquisitor gets another model there, grenade launcher brought there. He still has over 100 health remaining, so it's unlikely he will get fully wiped out. 
And you actually lost that full Heretic Squad. That must have been a really good demolition charge. I saw the Spire Champion still alive, but he took time to finish off the entire squad. The Heretics are relatively cheap and replaceable. They're Heretics, of course. They're very, very replaceable. <laughs> They're almost as replaceable as Imperial Guardsmen. Gauss have been upgraded with the Eternal War upgrade. Sentinels received quite a bit of fire. So the Imperial Guard Squad has been upgraded with a Sergeant as well. May need to get some repairs onto it. Good knock, uh, knock back there and good uh, stun there. Does not get the uh, Chaos Sword there. And does get a good uh, attack there from the Chaos uh, Lord now. Crash Heretic Squad with Spine Shaping upgrade has been pushed forward. Lord, of course, it does fall back. Great shotgun blast there, two shotgun blasts, knocking back the entire force. Grenade launcher barrage on the trees low, just follow up with some more damage. A lot of heretic kills there, very, very nice. Raptor's now captured that point, and the power node has been deactivated now. Position point now being captured on up. And these forces are now have been reinforced and make their way forward now. Does activate the ritual, make these guys go to go, gotta go fast. Raptors are captured in the northern flank, very nice. And this power point just got deactivated, just deactivated these points, decided not to fully capture them. Catching Devils will capture that point entirely. This Catching Devils now receives some automatic weapons fire. Oh, and grenade launcher fire, which will also replace those uh, other heretics with assault rifles. So we do also have more automatic weapons fire. Sentinel is now advancing forward, getting some damage there on the Raptor with the support of the Imperial Guard. The Sentinel has been fully repaired as well. Catching Devils do maybe get a shotgun blast there. Grenade, knock back grenades on those forces, knocking back some of those Catching Devils. This one's being upgraded to Sarge just now. This one's being upgraded to Sarge as well. And we see the grenade launcher barrage onto the grenade launcher squad. Raptors do get stunned there by the Sentinel. Those that got stunned after they dropped on down. Now, do have also the Infernal Crystal upgrade for the Lord Inquisitor. Increasing, also increasing judgment ability, dealing heavy damage to a single target up to 300. Judge shot AV damage. Whatever that means. Yes, yeah, Lord is even a bit of fire there. The Melted Gun of the Sarge will do some good damage as well. Just generic all purpose damage. And now, do you got the Combine Flamer ability right there? Gains a good AoE damage there on the Casual Devil. Chaos Lord is now falling on back. Now these points being captured on up. Power node being redeployed. Grenade fired. Air squad may receive a stomp from the Sentinel. Grenade launcher barrage running on in. Catch those do activate a smoke grenade. Still no stomp. There's a stomp. And going for our demolition charge on the tree path. Very, very nice. He may get he will get it deployed in time. Oh, I think they buffed the demolition charge beforehand. It didn't really do much damage, but now that is quite, quite deadly. Maybe a little bit too powerful. I honestly don't know how to really balance that out. Maybe just have it do less damage versus treating units. That's probably the only way I can see uh, balancing it out a bit better. Rear Guardsmen advancing forward, gain some good damage there onto the Chaos Marines. We got the stun shot being put out onto the Chaos Lord, forcing back. The Chaos Lord also has been upgraded the armor of the Inferno, giving him a Lex the Galaxy Burn, which gives him a mid range artillery barrage ability. And now we got the Rear Guardsmen receiving quite a bit of fire. A great grenade launcher barrage there, taking out two more of those models of those Chaos Marines. This is going really, really, 
so far it feels like this entire game is in favor of the Imperial Guardsmen. I mean, maybe a little bit biased towards Imperial Guards players, but still, it feels like the Imperial Guards players doing very, very well. Cash and Devils does get some, and Imperial Guard Squad does get forced back. The Lord of Quizzer has quite a bit of resources. I think she's rushing straight to tier 3. The Chaos Lord has a very no reserve right now and on tier 2. While the Lord of Quizzer has a small requisition reserve and going for tier 3. At this point in time, the Lord of Quizzer can take advantage of many different things. Probably a Predator. Not predator. Layman Rust with Executioner Turret seems like a, a really good item. I don't, I'm not a big fan of gaining partial squads and performance wise. So I'm thinking. I'm thinking, uh. Layman Rust with Executioner Turret. Baker's Turret is fine. But I think Executioner Turret with or a Bane Blade. It'd be bold to go for a Bane Blade, honestly. Lord of Cruiser, if she needs uh, access to any quick anti vehicle. Oh, the Sentinel actually fully went down. I was not paying attention. The uh, Sentinel has actually fully gone down. I just. That may be part of its. No, that's a Raptor squad. Or model. We got the Wubs being cut on, called on in, and the grenades are getting some great damage there. Knockback grenades have been fired, knocking back one of those squad members. Now I've got the Cat. Carson squad, we've seen quite a bit of fire there. Grenade launcher squad, heretics are some of my favorite squads in the game, along with the stormtroopers. Does use demolition charge there as well. Does get spotted by the uh, aspiring champion as well. And he does have the demolition charge there exposed. He knows that he's going to retreat back. He's making a soft retreat over here before doing a full retreat back. So now the full retreat will go back this way. Imperial Guards will get some damage there. Good damage there on the Keenan Carson squad. Not Keenan Carson squad, Catagen Devil squad. And Raptors do charge report as well. It does have the Aspiring Champion leader, so it does have the Maul as well. Attacking us from behind. Castle advancing forward. It does get a uh, jump right there. And now the Catagen Devil does get a nice knockback there. Put it out the. Uh, Build there, and that is a let's see ex excruciatus excruci excruciators. I have no idea how to pronounce that uh, upgrade. But you saw those yellow, uh, I don't know how to describe them cages. That is the assail ability, which can completely immobilize and do damage over time to target unit. Retreating units, of course, take less damage. Chaos Marine Squad has upgraded plasma guns. Imperial Guards from the base board. Got a napalm run onto these generators. They doesn't really does some damage with generators, not a whole a lot, honestly. Is that the ritual right there? No. You activate the ritual and uh calling the temporary blood letters. Lord Inquisitor is very, very wounded. Can't jump teleport around like the regular blood letters. We do have a plague marine squad being pulled on out. He does get a good knockback on his own Noise Marines there, getting off as one of his own models. A little bit of oversight there, Noise Marines trying to get some good generator damage. And Lord Inquisitor has a massive reserve of, of requisition and has a pretty good reserve of, of power as well. He's, she's going for a Bane Blade, and I have a feeling it's going to be the Plasma Cannon Bane Blade. What's it called again? The Storm Blade? I always forget the names of a lot of these. Let's get all those power generators. These forces are sort of skirting around. Good damage they are onto the Chaos Marines. Catch Devils making their way forward. Does force back those squads. The Chaos World does have less VPs at the moment by a very, very small margin. And. There is oh a regular bane blade. Okay, could have gone for the other ones, but it's going for a regular bane blade. Can't go wrong with the classics. It is the assail ability right now. You now got the casual double space forward, gains a bit damage onto the plague marines. The 
Hawks. Norse Marines does get some good damage there on the casual Devil Squad, does force him back. Chaos Heretics now roaming around trying to capture the flanks. Of course, we may get this power point. But once the Bane Blade gets to pull on the field, the central BP will be locked down quite hard and just need to keep a squad over here as well. You need to make sure to keep the Pyro Guard near the Bane Blade to get it repaired up. The Cash Devils, of course, can skirmish around, perhaps pull out some demolition charges. Good knock back there on the Pyro Guardsmen. They have an upgrade plasma guns. Very nice. I don't have the Kalbazar upgrade right now. And the Raptor Squad does fall back. Let the Galaxy Burn has been activated, gaining some great damage on these generators. Combine Flamer pushing it forward, gaining some good damage. Let's take on another power generator. But it is the Bane Blade. Noise Marines do get knocked back and the assailability there, locking down the actual noise gun itself as the support model is going to hit quite significantly. And the Bane Blade knocks out that Noise Marine out of there. Demolisher Cannon. Fire. Nope, that's the primary cannon. Asian Devils will make their way to the central BP. The BPs are very, very similar. Grenades are raining on in. Gator Squad will not be able to stick around and fall too long. Macy's shotgun blast there. Grenade launcher barrage now. Gains a good damage. But may actually knock them out of the blast of the Bane Blade Cannon. Asian Devils now are trying to go back to the garrison, being tied up melee from the Plague Marines. Lord and Coisin are now heading to the left BP as well. With the Bane Blade on the field, the Lord Inquisitors are now trying to go for the kill by going for a VP game. And not being hyper aggressive with the Bane Blade either. He has the advantage, no need to be hyper aggressive. Bane Blade's now firing away, gaining some great damage on that Chaos Lord. Chaos Marine advancing forward. We do now the Lord of course we're seeing quite a bit far. She does capture the VP and now we've got some Ogren employed on our field. You may immediately try to upgrade them to Bulgren. And now we're feeling, oh, we got the Melter Gun upgrade on the Chaos Raptors. I always forget they have that upgrade. It does upgrade the entire squad to Melter Guns, but it does give them some good damage output. We do now have the Noise Blaster, Blast Master pushing forward. It's a good general purpose weapon. Very good for casual double and Imperial Guardsmen. It does provide some good fire support for the Bane Blade, so it's a good weapon as well. Like Marines, he needs to regroup his forces, but he also needs to hit these VPs. So he press his lighter forces to capture the VPs, the Heretics, and let his anti vehicle weapons push it towards the Bane Blade. Now we do got a Chaos Shrine here. The Corn Chaos Shrine does, of course, get uh, these Blood Letters put on the field. Are the Blastmaster firing? Not sure where, though. Your guards are trying to repair up at that point. We got in the fresh demolition charge there. Both that going for the left galaxy burn hitting those Pyro Guardsmen. Does not detonate that uh, IED just yet. And I don't think I should was revealed by the Chaos Lord. Maybe it did. Knockback grenades do hit one of the uh, catch devils. as one of the arm for a handgun and sword or knife. They got that one model as well. Very nice. Can you hear us over this noise? Blastmaster is advancing forward and will likely receive the demolition cannon. Nope, does not receive the demolition cannon. Multiple IEDs are being placed on down. Soon this area is going to be more mined up than Afghanistan. And now we've got the Bulgrins have been pulling out. They could start hacking down this garrison, honestly. Here it does go down. Catch Devils capture the point. 
and the this one of the chaos shrine the fallen chaos shrine the blood letters spawning just doesn't make constant though they do linger around of course the assailability ability does not stop the chaos from so jumping around it does get the catch double squad does force back Raptors needs to take time to recapture the VP. Like we capture the VP as well. Bulger well, now trying to intercept these plague marines. Plague marines needs to quite a bit fire there and does once he capture the point die to go back inside the garrison. I say hack apart the garrison. I think they are should be able to hack apart the garrison. Catching Devil Squad advancing forward. Okay, maybe I am for demolition charge onto the door. Yep, I believe that's demolition charge now. Getting some good damage there. Not sure how effective the demolition charges are versus the structures. It may be actually really good. And no kaboom there. He did not detonate the. We got the. Raptors now he's trying to get some damage there onto the kit onto the Bane Blade. But we're seeing a bit of fire there. Does get some rear armor hits there. Catch and doubles are on the flank. Last master finds a good hit there as well. So the Bane Blade's a little bit wounded, but nothing too severe. And we do have now repairs coming on out. Chaos Lord does go down. Old Bolgren and Catch and Doubles are here as well. Last master trying to set on up, trying to find good damage there. And we do got the Chaos Portal. Main blade and pure cars will skip on out there though we do got the lord inquisitor getting grabbed being dragged back in the lord inquisitor does go down to the portal and pure cars we do retreat back they do stay alive and we do also got the catch doubles here as well as the bulgarin main blade has plenty of health remaining he start hitting that chaos ring however Here, our, our Chaos Marine squad does fall back. Like Marines make creeping the way forward. On the right side, Inheritance and Captain the points. Very nice. We may see the Demolisher Cannon firing relatively soon. Great grenade launcher barrage with the Cajun Devils. Direct hit there from the Blastmaster, doing severe damage there. Bayblade's not being prepared on up. Blastmaster still up the region, facing that shot right there. Nope, does not get a shot off in time. Chaos Lord has been respawned as well, and now we've got the Great Unclean One. Bulgur and Deuce spot the Great Unclean One. Got this VP captured up by the Lord Inquisitor as well. The Heretics have captured this point as well. This demolition charge will destroy it by the Heretics. They are, of course, a spotter. Uh, thank you for the follow, Death Win 666. Last Master now firing away, gets some good hits there onto the Bane Blade. The Chaos Marine now seems to fire. Still no Demolisher Cannon. I haven't seen a cast in once. Cast extra barrel, so use it. Got the Imperial Guards now receiving the fire damage from the Electric Galaxy Burn ability. And the Blast Master still firing away. The Blast Master, of course, does good general purpose damage, but of course, it's not. Really anti vehicle. Does get a decent re armor hit there. Chaos Lord does force back the Imperial Guardsman. Last Master now receiving some cannon fire. Main Blade receiving quite a bit of damage. Need to make sure he targets the noise and did not get an auto turn towards the Chaos Lord. Grand Unclean One is trying to tape the armor of the Bane Blade right now. Raptor is now jumping on in and do not enter the, the movement of the Bane Blade. But does get some good damage there onto the Bane Blade. Vomit onto the point, knocking back the Lord Inquisitor. The main blade is severely wounded. We use the Molisher Cannon on the Raptors. Raptors not targeting towards the main blade at the moment. Catch them trying to tie up the Raptors up in melee. The Raptors will be falling back. The Raptors will go down to the Catch the Devils and power of melee attacks. Good damage there onto the Catch the Devils there from the grenade launchers. Gain some great AoE damage there. Lord Inquisitor is captured the central feet. He and the cap is currently neutral. I think the Bulgar and captured the left flank. Chaos Lord does go down over here. And now the Great Unclean ones receive fire from the Bane Blade. Bane Blade does have guns, multiple guns. Able to engage the Great Unclean at range. 
And now we do got the Casual Squad receiving quite a bit of fire from the very unclean one. This VP was not recaptured up, but both Casual Squads are being forced back. Imperial Guardsmen are repairing up this main blade. They do have the Commissar upgrades, so also have 12 members now. Bring clean one. The private fire does bomb on top of Imperial Guardsmen. The main blade's creeping away. Casual Squads do some camouflage right there. The VP has been captured by the. Chaos Ring Squad, Warden Cruiser, that was received a uh, nice knockback there from a Blast Master. Aim Blade style pushing forward as well. Grand Coons falling back. Uh, infiltration Stormtroopers. Infiltration Stormtroopers have been pulled on out, trying to recapture this point. The Heretic Squad can, of course, spot them. They do spot them now. They may be able to get the kill there. Not being afraid of anything at the moment. They need to get off of camouflage and start firing. There's nothing at the Heretic Squad. There we've got the Imperial Guardsman bands, uh, running around. There is a triple capture against the Imperial Guardsman, but he does have a little less than two tickets. There's plenty of tickets to play around with. Blast Master does receive a knockback there from the grenade launcher. And now the Chaos Marine Squad make it, will get fully wiped. Catching that was catching that point. Stormtroopers being upgraded overcharged hot shot blast guns. The flag is charging forward, and the Bane Blade is still quite wounded and not receiving some hits there from Blast Master. And oh, got the Plague is going straight for the VP. Not great shock and blast there, very nice. You can rotate around and get the launcher cannon firing. But he's concerned about the missile launcher, but he's not using the missile launcher as that. He's just trying to catch the point, and he will fail. Blast Master, force fire on the ground right there. Imperial Guardsman fully goes down, so does the Ogren. Oof. There's a pile of corpses there. All Imperial Guard. Looks like the, ooh, looks like the Stormtroopers do receive quite a bit of damage there. Did get grabbed by the Great Unclean One. Now Catching Down is trying to catch that point. I think that's going to be a repair bunker. Does use the Combine Flamer right there. Gains some good damage there on the Casual Devils. And looks like the Lord and uh, Chaos Lord will fall back. It's going to try to grab the Cajun Devils there. Great knockback. Grenades cast. Does interrupt the capture. The repair Bunker has been deployed out. Gains some much needed repairs on the Bane Blade. Very unclean one now. Charge forward towards the Bane Blade. Over quite wounded. We've got the Melted Gun as a. Uh, Supporting the Bane Blade as well. I think Great Unclean One. I would say he's standing by the Bane Blade, though that could be a mistake. Hater Squad does receive quite a bit of fire there. And the Bane Blade's going to be running away. And the Casual Devil's going to try to catch the point. Blastmaster setting on up. Hater Squad does go down. The point is still in favor of the Imperial Guardsmen. Stormtroopers need to start getting some volleys into the Great Unclean One. Get some damage on end. He doesn't have a whole lot of health remaining. Down to 900 health. Baneblade still running away. Down to 300 health. Make that 169 health. He may be able to see one more swipe, but it's going to be really, really close. And one more slice he does receive, or uh, it does go down right there. Brain Clean one's down to 100 health. 75, 0 health. Ninja Devils have captured the central VP. This VP has been recaptured up by the Chaos Lord. Over here, do you got the Lord Inquisitor over here. Stormtroopers advance forward with very little health with four members. Could throw a frag grenade on top of him, but has to be very careful not to blow himself up. That's how wounded he is. And let the Galaxy Burn Hells activated. Does largely avoid that barrage. This VP has been decaptured as well. Oh, we got the Chaos Portal. Lord and Quester is still up and alive. But the VP was decaptured. It is Repair Bunker still up and going. We've got multiple squads of blood layers. Now it's going to be a scrappy infantry fight. The Lord and Quester is going, has a massive reserve. She's going for another Bane Blade. I sort of disagree with that. O4 had a lot of infantry squads. Play the VP games, so your opponent only sound 22 tickets. Go for mass infantry, you only need to do is squeeze out the VPs for long enough. Blood letters do take the point, but they may get wiped out. There's a lot of fire coming down onto them. They will escape on out there. 
both these casual devils are at level four. Lord and Quest was captured this point. Casual devils can go over here, capture this point, though the Chaos Lord himself is camping it. I first let's go inside the garrison. I see some demolition charges there. Stormtroopers are facing forward, and now we've got the uh, Catch Devils trying maps, trying to tie up the Chaos Lord up in the melee. Chaos Lord is receiving quite a bit of fire. They let the Galaxy Burn was activated again. Great close range barrage there. Good small amount of health with the claim. Bane Blade being put out versus Heretics. I think the Bane Blade will pan out a little bit, little bit better than Heretics. So it's a repair bunker up and going as well, so he does not need to. Uh, get our Imperial Guards for repairs. Plus, at this point in time, I think the Baneblade has enough health for the rest of the game. Blastmaster blows up the IED there, and the Bloodletters do teleport forward, trying to decapture this point. This point has not been fully captured, so there's no VP drops for blue. Is that a Valkyrie run? Valkyrie run does come forward. Those interrupt the decapture, and annihilates the Bloodletters. Heretics now charging forward. The point has been fully reverted. Is that a Napalm run? Napalm run does come forward, and I think the Hell Heretics can't stay there. They will get burned alive. And does not decapture the point as well. If he would have stayed alive, he would have decapture the point. Lord of Crusader was down right there. Nothing's over here. So, if he would have got the Spire and Champion upgrade, he could have potentially saved, got the VP decaptured. By the way, this is Andre saying thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.